If you enjoy chocolates, all you think about is calories. Do you think what if I would tell you that chocolates could secretly include insects and rodent hair? Are you stupid or something? Unfortunately, the simple response is yes. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we'll be sharing the craziest thing ever. Before I start, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe and ring the bell. It would be greatly appreciated. Come on, let's get started. Let's understand some historical knowledge of chocolates. What is it? To manufacture 1 pound of chocolate, 400 cocoa beans are required. Around 2500 beans are produced per cocoa tree. Chocolate is manufactured from a seed that comes from a fruit tree. Where is it from? In West Africa, there are expected to be 1.5 million cocoa fields. Many cocoa trees only produce commercial cocoa beans for the first 25 years. even if some of them are more than 200 years old did chocolate used to be like money that grew on trees cocoa beans were valued higher than gold dust during the mayan era and were used as money cocoa tree cultivation was constrained to control the price of the cocoa bean otherwise the temptation of simply producing your currency would have been too great <laughs> let's immediately get into the point then shall we Are you serious What percentage of insect parts do you eat? Every 100 grams of chocolate you consume may include 60 pieces of cockroach or insect fragments, which equates 5 to 6 insect fragments every little bite. How much rat and rodent hair are you eating? Every 100 gram of chocolate you consume could contain one rat hair. The FDA, the United States Food and Drug Administration, regularly allows rat hair in chocolates and that is a key fact. You don't scare me. Ah! Why? Because it is impossible to clean bulk food of all contaminants. Bulk food attracts pests. That is reality and it cannot be avoided. In reality, since pests typically exist even in environments where the food is cultivated organically, they have been probably always existed. Modern food handling safety laws are designed to reduce the presence of pests and the contaminants they leave behind after being removed from bulk food during early process. As a result, we have laws governing things like sanitation, the use of pesticides, alternative methods of pest control and more. We have a good idea of how much contamination is unavoidable and how much is a consequence of inappropriate food handling based on our experience. Therefore, the regulations that specify exactly when the contaminant reaches an excessive level must be obeyed because that indicates how well the rules have been followed. You simply won't get those final few hairs no matter how excellent you are when processing a lot of food it is too time consuming. expensive and merely physically not possible. Ew, buggers. What does FDA have to say about rodent hair and insects in chocolate? Let's understand because the results are rather startling. There may be traces of insects and rat hair in anything that contains cocoa powder and cocoa press cake including all types of chocolate and chocolate liquid. Yes, the US Food and Drug Administration (FDA) indeed permits the presence of insects and rodent hair in chocolate. cocoa powder cocoa press cake and chocolate liquor conclusion it simply is a harsh reality makes you want to give up chocolate i suppose however these items are risk free and fda approved so as long as you select the reputed chocolate brand everything should be delicious and secure now open your refrigerator and take a chocolate mouthful hey that's pretty good i hope this video was very informative Please press the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends and family. I'll say goodbye for now. Be careful, be safe till I meet to talk about next topic.